Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for your support in the previous video by commenting and subscribing. Today, we are looking at how you can league your Sony FS5 Mark II. The Sony FS5 Mark II for me works as the A camera because of its properties or, or some of the properties that I like. Uh, one of them is it has internal ND filters, then it's also able to shoot 10 bit uh, footage, which gives me more room to work on the colors if I need um, someone to color grade or if I can color grade it myself. But then also, it's also good for running gun when you rig it, it's good for running gun uh, kind of documentary style because it's a bit heavier and then you have grip on your camera whether it's on your tripod or you put it on your shoulders at least it gives you that ability to be able to follow your subjects or uh, whatsoever you are whatsoever you are shooting so it comes with different accessories when you just purchase it but then I will not I don't usually add all the accessories to it because I've added some other things that make it easy for me to do my interviews to shoot my video um, and so on so to kick start you're gonna need the base plate the base plate is where you're going to add your pole so <laughs> you need your base plate. So now the advantage of this base plate, why I like it is it, it has two bolts or two screws that you can uh, use to screw the camera, to screw the camera, the base plate onto the camera. And it gives it that ability not to be able to shake around when it's on the key, on the tripod or it's on your, it's rigged. So we're gonna do that just by So you need that as a best for the for, for you to begin your rig. Then the second thing we're going to use are uh, the 15 millimeter poles. You can see these are the 30 centimeter poles, so they are longer enough to attach a number of things. So we slot them in there. We'll add the top handle for the camera, which of course comes with an internal microphone. I think there was a number of times where I shot with to get like ambient sound with this microphone. I think it's very good, and most of the time when I'm shooting um, stuff where there's no someone speaking, I think I use uh, this just to get the ambient ambient sound so you get the handle you screw it okay then the next thing uh, we're gonna attach our lens so for me because I love stuff that has depth of field so surprising I shoot on this Sigma uh, 7200 but it's a Nikon mount then I use an adapter an adapter to just uh, connect it to Sony, so it has an adapter that I use. So and from there we, we put our lens. This camera comes with a screen, this screen by default. But then my observation is uh, when I'm shooting on this screen, the color science on this screen, I don't know too like saturated for me but so I resolved to using um, a smaller a smaller monitor from Pew World it gives me good colors so I can see how flat uh, the, the footage is when I'm filming not like on the other one where it's just like it's a bit saturated but when you review the actual picture in post-production it's like flat flat so to mount this you need i use this uh, 
small arm. So that's like a short arm. Uh, I had to buy them like from on from eBay in the online store. So that's the one I will use to mount up the monitor. Then we mount our camera or our, our monitor. But then, so what it means by me using this monitor, meaning I've exported all my settings uh, to this monitor, I can see the settings from this monitor. In case you want to record in externally, uh, the FS5 I actually forgot to mention, it has SDI. So you can record draw with the SDI output. So that means you can either buy your Shogun, uh, the Atomos Shogun, so that you can record 4K uh, 120 frames raw. But then for me, I just want to use it like to just view. So that's why I'm exporting my settings. But if you are, if you are recording uh, externally, you don't have to export the settings. You have to, to deactivate that. Okay. So just to, to be neat, I'll pass it here. Okay, cool. Then, the next thing uh, is uh, we need to attach our lens hood. Yeah, last time I think I mentioned that I used the small rig. I feel this uh, hood, oh, they are pretty small and they're easy to carry, unlike the other bigger ones that I, that I used to use. But then you also need, for you to attach the, the, the hood, you need to attach a ring. So in this case, the lens diameter is um, 77. So I have a ring that is 77. 77 millimeters. You might ask 77 what? 77 millimeters. So just have to make sure it's straight. Yeah. Damn. Then slot in your, your hoodie. I don't know if it's hoodie or hood. Yeah, that way. So far, so good. We have our camera being rigged. Um, the next thing is uh, if I'm doing interviews, I love to either record directly into the camera or sometimes that I'll use a zoom, but most of the interviews I have done, I use um, the KF, K and F concept um, microphone. So, I just attach it here, then I connect the out, then connect this here. And this camera has got the XLR cable provision, so it makes it easy to get sound. But its, it's internal recording system also is very, very good. I think I've never had a problem compared to these other small cameras. So that, then we'll add our focus ring and our focus um, pulling system. So because I focus from the left, I make sure this side, the end of this uh, focus ring is on the other side so that when I'm focusing, um, it doesn't come in contact with the focus puller. Okay. Then we attach our focus pulling system. Okay, so now that it's straight, then we just have to make sure we screw this. Then it gives us provision for doing that. 
Yeah, so far so good. So we get our battery plate. And the whole point is to make sure we have a longer shooting time because if we use the normal batteries, then we have less fuming time. We have to change, but you don't want to be distracted by battery low, battery low, battery low. You just want to shoot continuously. So our battery plate, then with that, then we connect the monitor. So we we'll connect, we we'll power the monitor and we we'll power the camera with the cables. So we connect the cables. So DC cable that way, then it comes this way on the battery plate. Like that. Then for the monitor, same we connect on the battery plate. Then we connect uh, on our then the next thing we're gonna do is to add the battery itself. So I have most of the accessories that I use when I'm filming. So our sound, so if you want like these microphones, I can power them by USB, but for now I can just use the batteries to power them. So let's power our camera, you see. So it's powered on. Are you guys able to see? So it's powered on, so you can see that all the settings are there. But then one last thing that I would add sometimes is you want to rig your camera like so that you can put it on your shoulders in case there's too much running or running gun. So you don't want to have a tripod, so you just want it to be on your shoulders. So we we'll add a shoulder pad. This is a shoulder pad. I think it's small rig. I forgot the brand, but it's small rig. So you put it at the end of your rig like that. Then now that we have that, we need to add in our handles so that you are able to hold your camera properly because like this, it will give you challenges in holding um, the camera. So our handles, you get your handles, then you have to attach them here. I might just have to adjust the follow focus a bit because the handles can't come in. Then we bring in our handles. So, like that, it gives you provision to check, to hold your rig like this. So I think this, this gives you ability to carry it on your shoulders so you don't need a tripod. Um, so you can easily focus like this, I can do all your settings because all your settings are here so it's easier than uh, changing up things. So I think that's it for today, please remember to subscribe, give us feedback and hope to see you in the next video.